in your knowledge, do schools tend to track readership of their digital comms? Ah, that's a really good question. Um, so that's that question. I, I, I would imagine that it's very, very common to track readership for two reasons. One is because actually there is a whole range of, this isn't the free tools, but there are, there's a whole range of paid for school parent, well, communication tools, which are used for communicating with parents among other audiences. And they will all have um, dashboards and metrics built into them. And reader, reader, you know, reading rates is one of the easiest things to track. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm very confident that schools are tracking those whether or not those are being used is a completely different question yeah. um and uh and that's not to say it should that's the be all and end all or, or a massive priority but but it is the sort of um treasure trove of data when simon's mentioned we'll, we want to get into segmentation a little bit in the next workshop not to get deeply immersed in it because that's too much but just to help schools understand what they can do using free tools and um, a little bit of time to go a long way and actually that's exactly the sort of data that you can use to um, segment your audience um, it's not all about who they are sometimes it's about what they do and um, whether or not they read your emails is a really good sign of how engaged they are